Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today, I'm gonna show you how to install a macerating system in your RV. So let's jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for stopping by. If you're a longtime subscriber, always good to have you back. Just a reminder, I'm giving away over $18,000 of tools this year. All you gotta do is leave a comment below on any one of my videos and you can be entered in to win some of those tools. Link down below to see how to enter. Now guys, if you know anything about me, I am crazy. I do a lot of mods that are necessary and unnecessary, but at the end of the day, one of the craziest mods I've done is replacing my gravity fed black and gray dump system on my RV to an emacerating system. So let's jump into what exactly I did. So if you look right down below under my RV, you'll see there are no gravity fed dump station pipes. I've completely removed those pipes. And one would say, do you have a composting toilet? Cause you need to dump these tanks. And I do not have a composting toilet. I didn't feel like carrying my doo-doo around and finding a bush to dump it in or however that system works. To me, that was just not cool. <laughs> the other thing is I live over 50 miles away from the closest RV dump station and I need to be able to dump my tanks once I return home. So I needed to figure out how to dump my black and gray tank after a trip once I get home. Now, when I first got my RV, I knew that was an issue. So I decided to buy an attachment so you could stick onto your current dump piping and then the macerator would grind everything up, shoot it out a hose style pipe and I could dump it straight into the sewer. Now I recommend that system to everyone just to have a round at home or even in your RV if you've got space because it is very helpful when you run into a tight situation when you can't find a dump station. Now guys, everything I'm mentioning in this video, there's a link down below to my Amazon page where you can buy all the accessories you need to do this conversion. But with that said, let's go into exactly how my new system works and how I've built it into my RV. So jumping onto a different camera here, let me get down here and show you my system. So there it is. There's my gray and my black handle. There is my gray um, exit and there is my black exit. As you can see, those are tiny little pipes. My basement is sealed completely because it's four seasons and I have no access. So now that you see what I'm talking about, the other reason I want to mention that I forgot is that is the lowest point in the camper. Since I do take this camper in places campers shouldn't really go a bit off road, on gravel, on ditchy roads, that is all vulnerable to getting ripped off. Now, if all of that gravity stuff gets ripped off, and let's be honest, no one wants that. So now I'm gonna jump back in time, show you a clip that I filmed a couple months ago when I installed the system, so you can see what it looks like above all that insulation covering all this stuff up. This there is about, I'd say two inches of, maybe three inches of uh, insulation before you hit the subfloor. Um, I did cut, it open and I put a two by four down there so I could screw these two by fours in here because I installed the, the macerator pumps uh, for both the gray tank and the black tank. See, here's the pump. Um, the reason for this is I am off-road in this trailer and the pump out stations are super low. They hang, you know, 10 inches and I didn't want to rip them off because then everything leaks. And also if I need to uh, go to a gas station and use one of those outside entry outside toilets uh, if i ask them if i can pump out my tank into just the toilet these things you know it's just run with a hose and then i can pump that out into a toilet now that you've seen the gist of what the two pumps are there's one pump for the gray tank one pump for the black tank keep them on two different switches obviously you don't want to drain these at the same time firstly you would need two pipes so the way I've hooked it up so let's jump inside so I can show you how I actually turn these pumps on so when you open my door here you'll see there are three switches if you've been watching all my other videos on all the mods and how to do them you'll know I like master switches especially when it comes to <laughs> pushing out all of the dirty water 
So right here is the gray, the black tank, and right here is the gray tank. If you can see, I turn these switches on, you cannot hear a pump. The reason I put the master switches here is because I consciously want to make sure I turn the master power on before I hit any of these switches. One thing to keep in mind when you have a macerating system, you can pump out your gray and black tank uphill. It is no longer gravity fed. It is a pump system. It grinds up the waste and then pumps it out. So that being said, it comes out with force. If you aren't paying attention, you can hit the switch and then you can get covered in everything out of the tanks. So that's why I installed the master switch. So both my valves are closed and I got caps on the pipes. So what I do here, say I wanted to dump the gray tank, I would turn on the master switch and hit this. You can hear the pump is going. Now let me jump into what my waste pipes look like now. So since I've removed the bumper and installed a hitch, go see that video if you're interested in that, I do not have a pipe storage for my waste pipe anymore. So I keep everything in this bucket. Let's open it up, take the things out, and see what I got. So guys, this is everything I keep in my little bucket. I have two 10-foot pipes here in case I need to go a long distance and normally only just use one. I got a black hose to rinse things off when I need it and a set of gloves. So let me show you how I hook one of these pipes up. So it is pretty simple. I've just installed this system. This is the gray tank. So these are little caps that uh, make sure this system is closed so they don't get clogged up with anything. And then here is my pipe that creates a secure seal. Now that is all tight on there. I can go dump this right into the black station or as I mentioned before, into a porta potty if I uh, can't find a dump station. And that is how my system works. So there you go, that is how simple it hooks up. That is the pipe, that is the cap, the black tank is still closed. I would pull the gray lever, turn on the pump, and then that would have pressure. All right guys, I know that video is short there, but that's all I had from filming underneath. So this is a diagram that should help you understand it better. So starting on the left here, which is the back of the RV, we have our black tank. This is our black tank opener. It is a three inch uh, gate door with the cable that goes to the handle. So you're gonna wanna buy a new one of these, replace the old one, and then this um, macerator pump, you're gonna get some PVC attachments that screw onto here and you just connect it like typical PVC pipe connections. Now, what happens is there's an outlet on the side of this pump where you hook up the uh, hose to these connections. You can use whatever connections you want, but these are the connections I use, and that is how that works. On the gray tank, everything's the same except this is a one and a half inch connection. That's uh, what was on the gray tank initially. You could go with the a three inch if you want but I just decided to stick with the one and a half inch and then again you connect uh, your new cable here and you connect your your plumbing now when it comes to the wiring both uh, the macerator pumps have a positive and a negative you connect the negative wire straight to the ground or, or straight to the frame or a ground terminal on your frame where other grounds are going to now for the positive this is my switch bank I showed you in the back you would tap into a positive wire somewhere in uh, the RV. I found uh, the positive wire underneath the frame, so I just connected the switch there. And then again, I, I led a wire to these switches. So this is the master switch. Once this master switch is turned on, it makes these other two switches live. One is the gray and one is the blank. Now, I didn't want to install another fuse panel in the rear of the RV, so I decided to just do inline fuses. Be sure you read the pump, uh, what it requires as a fuse, so you can put the correct fuse in there. Anyways, guys, uh, all these products are listed down in the description below. Hope that helps. But guys, now this system has been tried and true. It is perfect. All the products I've used are listed down below if you want to tackle this project by yourself. But anyways, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in. Let me know in the comments below what you would like to see next on my RV mods. Until next time, guys, be sure you like, subscribe, and I'll see you then.